What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am out on the California Delta with my buddy Josh. What's up? You guys probably recognize him from previous videos. Yeah, that dude could just eat that guy. This guy is a stick. He knows the Delta. He consistently catches giants here out on the Delta. I mean, you've already got a double digit this year. I've got one, yeah. He's got multiple double digits from this body of water. Today, the video is going to be focusing on top water only. In particular, a new bait, uh, the floating grass burner. Now this is a new bait, but the grass burner has been around for a while. Uh, it's a proven bait here on the Delta. We're not here to prove this bait. We're here just to show you the new floating grass burner, but it's a little bit different. It's uh, you know, it's an inline prop bait. Uh, obviously it floats, nice paint job, two super sticky trebles and a nice skirt. And again, with this new bait, allowing it to float, you can really uh, be a little bit more versatile with the bait, you know, stop and go retrieves. So that's the plan. We're gonna hug this grass burner around the Delta. We're gonna throw a frog and uh, hopefully catch some giants. So we've got some wind, we've got an outgoing tide. So like I said, Josh and I are gonna just chuck these grass burners and frogs around and hopefully uh, put on a show. All right guys, we're gonna go get it. Let's see what happens. Let's go baby. All right, I mean, we want to throw the grass burner, but obviously you can't throw it in this stuff. So we're throwing frogs. But when we see open water, we'll throw the grass burner. Cuga, Cuga Lake. Dude, they're all spawning. Yeah. I think so. First fishy of the day. Seemed a lot bigger. Dude, look where I hooked them. You straight up miss that. Well, I guess we'll put him in there. Hopefully he is gone in about two hours. That's a better one. There's a better one. Well, um, I'm telling you, that's the same one I bet, dude. You've been fishing for 10 minutes and you put a seven in the boat. Oh that my god. Cool. I got that. That's insane. My frog is still stuck in the I net. <laughs> Maybe because they can go up on shore and chill. <laughs> Not a bad one. trough right so I'd I'd probably throw a chatterbait all right old grassy way bigger dude he smoked that decent one trucked it two hooks he wouldn't go nowhere get you wet Yeah, ah, he's okay. Alrighty. Yep. Yeah. Whoop. I said, listen. It was small. Man, he ate that though. He was not coming off. I set that too hard on this little guy. Sorry, almost got you. <laughs> got him. Bunch of donkeys in there. Let's go. It's an escape artist here.
Oh, what if that's a carp? What? Dude, my drag is like, my reel, something's wrong with my reel. Yeah, he's in there. He's, he's, I don't know, I can't really tell. I think we're okay. Oh no, it's weird. I know, I got real excited for one second. We had a crawfish tentacle out of it in the back of his throat. Getting solids. That's a good fish. Almost 20. Just shy of 20 pounds. All right, guys. Solid, solid day out of the Delta with Josh. I caught a lot of just kind of two, two and a half, three pounders. One big bite. Raw grass burner. If you guys are interested in any of the baits that we use today, I will post links in the description. Awesome, awesome day out of the Delta. Shy of 20 pounds. Can't beat it. Josh, yeah. good times out there. As this, always. This guy knows how to catch big ones and knows where to catch big <laughs> ones. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.